Hello, 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 hello. How's everybody doing? Happy New Year and that. You know, we got our boy Gerard here. Come your boy Roland, you know. Conversation with 2024. Come on, I like it. You, you know. Come on. <laughs> and it starts with our boy Gerard. You know, introduce yourself and should let the people know who you are. Man. Um, so, okay, camera. You come here. Okay, so, um, my name is Jordan Gray. I'm a young black entrepreneur. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah, man, I'm just a follower of Christ, man. It took mm. a while, but yeah, man, I'm here. Yeah, man. Let's get it. How was the journey, man? It's been crazy. Yeah. The journey is still happening right now, bro. Mm, mm. It's still happening right now. Yeah. It's many, many um, trials and tribulations. Fish. Even before and after and, and now. Mm. Well, we're going to get to the now and after, mm. but let, let's get cracking on before, man, because obviously, you know, I know your family, you mm. know. I think your brother Eddie's been on. Has he? I think Eddie's been on. I think so. For some reason, I see myself in a video with Eddie. <laughs> I don't you know think what I mean? So. I don't remember you doing well, that. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'll check, you know, previously. You know, if it hasn't, you know, then ob obviously we'll get him on. You know what I mean? Man. You know what I mean? 2025. <laughs> <laughs> now, which I gave earlier than that. Honestly, this year, yeah, my, my goal is to be on it, man. You know what I mean? Like, it, on, on job, you know what I'm saying? But, anyways, that's enough about me. We're not here by me. We're here by my brother Gerard here, who's gonna talk about his testimony, his yeah. walking in Christ, you know, before, now, you know, hopefully what's going on after, you know, little baby Nongo is running around, but we're not there yet, man. Let's let's talk about it before. Yeah. How 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 did it all start? start? You know what I mean? And I don't mean from when you were born. I nah, mean, like, nah. you know, from from <laughs> kosher, from from uh, you know, when you were called okay. conscious, yeah. yeah. Let me, let me what is going on with this camera keep zooming in and out, man? Maybe, I was loving your face. I don't know what it is. <laughs> go yeah, on, go um, on. So, um... Uh, let's, let's, let's give it a bit more. So if it zooms in, it zooms into you. Zoom, uh, so, zoom, um, zoom, 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 zoom. My life, my testimony. So, boom. Um, I was always a church kid, actually. Mm. Um, I used to go to church every Sunday with my parents, in it. But I used to go to, like, a Congolese church. Mm. Which was very Yeah, I'm gonna stop this thing, man. Two seconds. Oh. This automatic frame thing that's going on. Okay. We're back guys, back sorry. Back. Let's go out. I'll, I'll fix all this stuff in uh, hopefully in <laughs> editing where you guys don't cool. see all the you know drama. <laughs> go on, mate. So um I always um went to church. Mm. My parents were always um strict Christians. Actually my mom was. My dad's side is actually Muslim. Mm. I oh, alaikum, man. Salam. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I found out that my dad converted from my mom, but yeah, yeah. Mm. I will always grow up in the church. Um, I didn't realize, I didn't, I didn't know the whole, um, the whole shebang of Christianity and what it really meant. Mm. So I used to just go to church because my parents told me to, mm. and I actually claimed to be a Christian, like when I used to go to school. Or like when I used to fill up like applications in school, that like, oh you're a Christian, tick this box. So yeah, I'm a Christian. Mm. But um, my lifestyle really never correlated to being a Christian. So um, I used to go to like parties, like drinking, trying to get as much girls as I can mm. on a Saturday. Then go and repent on a Sunday. That's like a song right there. Wow, man. but like the thing is, the thing is, I never, I never, like, I thought I was a Christian. Like, mm. I never knew the whole concept of sin. I never knew the concept of having a relationship with God. I thought just because you can, like, I thought prayer was just talking, talking mm. to God, like, yo, God, forgive me, da, 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 da. that's it. And I can go back to my whole shenanigans mm. and not feel convicted whatsoever. Mm. And I was living like that for a good 15 years. Mm. And another thing that derailed me as well was pornography, I found like mm. Pornography had a chokehold on me. Mm. And the thing is, I never had a problem with it until I got exposed to it. Mm. And I got exposed to it at a very young age. So, like... How old were you? Um, year eight. Damn. You know, year eight is a year where you're just trying to discover who you are and mm. stuff like... Who showed it to you? School friends? Wow! Well, they're, 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 they're white boys. That's how it goes. They're white boys, bro. Like, I'm not racist, obviously. Yeah. 
Yes, he is. No, I'm not ready. Right. He, <laughs> he could have said my friends. No, no, no. You know, he no, could have just said my friends. I'm saying, you know no, I, mean? I went to a white school in the Orleans Park School. Shout out to them. Um, you went to a white school? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, it was, it was, um, it was um, based in Twickenham, where it's, like, predominantly white, the area. Was it a private school? No, nah, it was, like, a sports school. It was a very high-end school. Because uh, I, I went there because... A sports was, school? Yeah, a sports school. Was it a public school? Yeah, it was a public, a public school. sports school. Yeah, it was. Never heard of it, man. It was going for a transition. Now it's right. an academy, innit? Now it's an academy. Yeah. So it was a private school. I went there because I was very good at rugby. Oh, so, oh yeah. 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 And my brothers went there as well, and they were very good at rugby. So, so. so it wasn't predominantly... There was you and your brother, bro. That, but uh, let me let me tell you this. Early, <laughs> there was a good... There was 150 students, hey. yeah. 150 students in my, in my year. Why is only 10 black? Mm. Yeah. Predominantly white. Right, my <laughs> my carry, carry on, so, boom. On, so, like, you know, when you're young, like, all you really care about is just like football and all these things. Mm. Like, you want to be a footballer? No, I just wanted to do anything involved with sports. Oh, I like, fair like, fair did you want to be a rugby player? Anything. Play for the Harlem Queens and that. Oh, yo, if any sport, if I made any sport, <laughs> I would have been playing it. Like, no, even no, right no. now, I got a love for like American football. I never mm. played it. Right, fair so, right. um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so, um, one day, I think these are all just mucking about watching pornography, and I was like, oh, what's mm. that? And I was like, oh, just try it. Like, like, do your thing in it. Try it. Like, you'll feel nice. I was like, what? Yeah, no, I, know it's, I, know it's, I know it's going left. Know, what is going on in your school, bro? I know it's going left. Right. Hey, we're no, going to no, have I to put like, age restriction into this. <laughs> no, but I'm not, I'm, not using, I'm not using those words. I'm not using those words. I'm not using those words. Oh, they're like, they're like, man. They're like, John, try it, try it. And I was like, try what? Like, like. Do your thing. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, oh that's weird, that's uh, nasty. But I can't lie, but like, I got aroused and I was watching the videos and I was like, oh, like, why am I feeling yeah. aroused? Like, okay. And I can't lie, I was speaking with this with Dami, you're going to mm. have him next, isn't it? Yeah, I'm but yeah. Him next, <laughs> it's like, you know, when your eyes get open mm. and the first time you experience it and you feel and that sensation, mm. like, oh, it opened a new dimension. For That's me. how I guess you, man. And from that moment on, it was just con- boom, cause of boom, 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 boom. Any chance I got, any mm. free time I got, mm. I was just, I was in, I was just in crazy, spiraling, crazy. Mm. Like you're a and, teenager. Yeah. Yeah, man. But like, it was bad. It yeah, was even. No, I hear you, man. It was, I hear like, you, bro. It was, it was yeah. bad. It was bad. Yeah, it's not. It's not condoning anything like, like that. Even you know like, what I mean, bro. but the thing is, even like with like weed as well. I don't mm. smoke weed, and I had a bad experience with it. Mm. Um, what was your weed experience? Uh, I never. I've never social, done it in my life. Social, like, but, you know, most things I do is because of my social group, innit? I mm. never really. I just try to be. I try to please everyone, innit? Mm. So when. When the weed was there, I was like, but I tried, like, <coughs> I was like, ooh, you like smoke like this? What are you doing? <laughs> they were laughing at me. I yeah. said, you look like crazy. Take this thing. Mm. But yeah, like, um, I was speaking to one of my friends. They were like, yeah, the reason why we smoke and smoke weed is because they're always trying to receive that first high that they ever received, like, ever got. Mm. The first high was like the most potent. Mm. And it was like the best feeling ever. It was like, mm. the same thing with, like, obviously, like, pornography. Mm. We're always trying to reach that same climax. Now. I see. I see the correlation you did there, yeah. yeah come on. Come on. <laughs> Bars, bro. But, Let's go with but yeah, like, and that was the thing, like, and that almost, that was one of, um, um, a stronghold that the enemy mm. had on me, in it, from mm. the time. And it took me a long, long time to get rid of. Mm. And one of the things that I had to do to get rid of it was surrendering. Mm. Mm. Surrendering to God. Yeah. Which is perfect, man, because that's literally what we're going to talk about next, man. Like, you know, so so what was the uh, correlation of your surrendering? Because mm-hmm. I remember... What the heck? Yeah, be like, turn okay. off. Yeah. I remember, you know, um, back in the days... Mm-hmm. Remember, um, it's going to sound a little bit... Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, this. Bring this down like that so we can have some air. All right, so um, I remember... You know, when I was younger, mm. you know, I remember your parents going to church. Yeah. Because you guys didn't go to our church. You went to the yeah. church next door to us, which was in the same building as ours. You know what I mean? Like you, your yeah. brothers and uh, somebody and them lost say you guys saw us, but we never saw you guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? So 
we left to come to, to, to the pause at Hounslow. Mm. And I think a year and a year and a half later, or maybe two years later, Edward. you guys, Edward came Edward along. Came. Then Take Edward go, uh, Marsh Marshall, Marshall Sarah, uh, Keegan, yeah. Sarah, all, all them, you know, Nangoy collectives. Yeah. You know what I mean? Edward, Nang Edward. Nangoy production. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know what Come I mean. On. So, so, what was what was the the transition for you? You know what I mean. Because obviously, as you said, you were going to church, yeah. but you give your your life mm. to Christ at the Porter's house. Um, what was the difference between the Porter's? Not to knock on your previous church. No, no, no. I'm not saying your, I don't no. know about your previous church. But what was the difference between that yeah. and the Porter's house? Um. I feel like this is gonna sound a bit weird, mm. but um, the uh, um the Congolese Church, some of the things they were doing was not correlating with Scripture. Mm. When I actually started to read my word a little bit, mm. I wasn't the best scholar in it, but like I could see if Christian is for all, why why is my church only um Congolese, Congolese based? Heavy, yeah. yeah, and when um and when um. I remember one time there was like a white person that came to our church. Mm. And obviously I was still young, so I was just observing, just absorbing things in. Mm. They were actually mocking her. Mm. For the way she danced. Like Congress people are known for like their waistline and stuff, you know, with mm. dancing, did it, did it, did Obviously she came down looking for God. And like some of the aunties were mocking like the dance moves. And I was like, mm. oh man. Well so, that rubbed you the wrong way, kind of thing. That yeah, it made me have a like have a bad view on like like black dominant churches. Mm. Obviously, church is church, but at the same time, it should be uh, multicultural, it should be diverse. Like, Christianity is for all, it's not just for Congolese people. Mm. You get me? And that's what opened my eyes. And also, I wasn't growing there. Mm. And I always I always call that place my childhood church because I was still a child there. I never really had, um, I never um, really, hmm. I don't know what's the word for it, like. I didn't even attempt to look for God there, mm. because the like the relationships I had there was not first with God. Mm. Um, the friendship there was always <laughs> after after church we did the complete opposite of a Christian. Mm. I remember <laughs> this is the third time. Oh, I'm gonna say anything. No, hey, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> You don't have to say anything. Nah, I'm saying just, everything, no, bro. Hold, I'm an open book. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you don't have to say anything that's gonna get make you feel embarrassed. Nah, I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. Or you gonna regret, bro? This I'm is gonna be man. online forever, bro. I don't bro. mind. I don't mind. Your children's just, great just, children just, are gonna see this. I'm just playing the pastor and see this. Okay, when, like, let's go, like, man. Exclusive. I was, I was so crazy, yeah. like. I used to like my mom used to give me like money to put in, in the offering, didn't it? Oh now everybody done that, bro. <laughs> oh no, brother. Everybody done that. You don't know bro. what I do. I had two pounds. Obviously the bus is in the front. We, uh, in the post house, we walk around with it. Yeah. So I went in there. I'm I'm such a thief. I no. put in two pounds and I took out ten. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say <laughs> you pretended for an inning and you pulled the chip out in your pocket. Nah, 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 um, and we went shopping. My, my man goes to church. My man no. goes to church. <laughs> he no, goes no. to church for change, bro. Nah, that's crazy. Man, that's, crazy. Crazy. That's, that's crazy indeed, man. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, that was like that was. Even... How do you take ten without them noticing? Bro, I was I, when I told you I was a. Thief. You just <laughs> I said, bro. With, like, sin, like Assassin's Creed, yeah. <laughs> let me tell you, when you're in sin, yeah, it's not just one sin. You do as much sin as you true. can. That's true, man. Stealing, robbing, lying, bruv. I was, I was just like the ultimate crook. Mm. I used to steal a lie. He would be in, yeah, yes I did. Right. Go back to you, blood in your arm. All these sins, bro. But yeah, like that's always my childhood church. Like that, that was just, a, it was a learning curve. Mm. I learned a lot, like what not to do. Damn. What to do. What, you, and, that's yeah. deep, but you, your childhood church, mm. you learn what not to do yeah. rather than what to do. Yeah. And you learn what to do by learning what not to do. I know I'm like inflating what he's just saying, but like you guys that don't know what he just said is <laughs> going to my head right now bro. <laughs> I'm confused bro <laughs> like you said yeah mm. you said 
your childhood church yeah. you learn what not to do yeah what not to do and you church. learn what to do yeah and now, by yeah. learning what, what not, not to do, do. 100%. that's crazy man 100 percent. that's crazy bro and yeah um so now yeah i don't want to talk more about the church because it's a bit crazy but mm. i'm going to talk about my new church now man. Mm. yeah man. Um, like i said don't say anything that's no, gonna make you man. make you feel embarrassed or you know um Let's just say, you know, because um, at the end of the day, we're here to glorify God, yeah. you know, and you know, uh, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Two seconds, let me find the word I'm looking for. Oh, you know that word in the Bible when it says elevate the soul elevate of your brothers, of your brothers. Uh, it's like to re rejuvenate the soul. Oh, what's that word? To rejuvenate your soul. Yeah, man. No, you, no, you also your brethren's soul. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> It's not sanctify. Oh sanctify. man, it's a word. It is a word, obviously. <laughs> Hold on, let's pause this. There you go. Edify, edify, bro. edify. You like your brother Eddie, the edifier. Edify. Let's That's go, edify, man. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, man. So we're here, like, remember, yeah, like we're here to glorify God, edify people, you know, to show that, you know, in whatever situation they're in, you know. God can still shine and pull you out, you know. So you don't have to do anything you feel embarrassed of, you know. Just let yeah. God lead you, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah man. Let's mm -hmm. edify these people, bro. Mm -hmm. So now, um, Potter's house. Um, I remember I started to go to Potter's house in my um, late teens. Mm -hmm. um, when you're a late teenager, you're still trying to figure out what on earth you are doing. Mm -hmm. So um, I was kind of living loose. Just trying to find the best next thing. Like, um, mm. firstly, obviously trying to get rich. When you're young, you're always trying to make out the hood. Mm. That's, mm. that's what people call it. Yeah, um, by the way, we are in the hood right now. <laughs> that's why when you came to my window, yeah, I jumped, bro. I was like, what the look? Even the police is just rolled bro, by, like bro. My but days. Yeah, yeah go on, bro. Trying to make out the hood. Uh, I was making music for a bit. Um, yeah, no, 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 no. That was, that was, that was com comedic. That was that was for banter. That was for banter. That was for banter, But um, <laughs> before I used to just be my friends, we always just like just go party, trying to make out the hood. Mm. Always trying to like mix, have street cred. Mm. That's what people call it, innit? Mm. So um, for you to do that, you have to just be a bit wild. Mm. Um, one of the things to gain street cred in this area, for some reason, is to get as much girls as possible. Mm. So I kind of based my whole teenage life on that mm. to see how much girls I can pull and can't kind of show off. Mm. And um, I can't lie, all that, there's no satisfaction whatsoever. After, after all these girls, it's like, okay, what's, what's next? Mm. I haven't, there's no ring on that. I'm not married to her. Looking for something meaningful, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah like, 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 bro. like but the thing is, more time mm. I got the girls to please the guys. Mm. That's kind of gay. No, it's no, it's, <laughs> it's not, not. It's not. No, it's, it's not. not because like, because you you got to understand, yeah, like it's like you're a teenager, isn't it? Yeah. Like you know, you, there's testosterone's going yeah. on. You know, there's it, like we 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 have not as young men, we mm. have not learned about how to control our ego. Yeah, yeah. You know, we don't even know what the word make mean unless mm. you've been to like you know some high in school like mm -hmm. where we grew up i never heard the word word meek mm -hmm. in an english class i never heard the word uh wisdom in an english class you know what i mean and you know you 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 rely so much of your learning on your friends because what do mom and dad know they're old mm -hmm. you know what i mean they grew up in the 60s they grew up in the 70s life was different then you know what i mean mm -hmm. like their parents could beat them up you know what i mean like you know especially for for us immigrants you know what i mean i'm an immigrant child you're children of immigrants and everything you yeah. know we feel like oh this is not africa anymore you know the example that our parents are giving us is africa based this is a this is a whole new culture and we try so hard to integrate ourselves into the culture that sometimes we we lose a sense of ourselves and we become followers mm -hmm. more than the leaders that our parents 
raised us to be. You know what I mean? Mm. So yeah, man, don't don't knock yourself for who you were as a as a young person no, because that example that who you were as a young person, though it may not be perfect and everything, mm. made you who you are as a mm. man today. You know, like you said, like you said, you know, you you learn what not to do, what to do by learning what not to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So in the future, whenever you you know see you know. A girl that you like, you know, mm -hmm. you will get her for you, yeah, not for the man. Them, yeah. you know what I mean. Also, yeah. So, yeah. Also, I was to so say. don't knock it down, man. And I wouldn't say knock it down. Isn't it? I'm just a bit extreme sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, but like, what well, as I was saying, like, um, I use the word gay just to say that I was pleased a man sort of that actual woman that I was with. Mm. Like, as soon as I got the girl, I used to brag like, oh man, them look at this. I used to mm. be, bro, I used to be wild. But yeah, but um, I didn't have enough fulfillment. You didn't have what? No fulfillment. Oh, no fulfillment. No, no I said the word wrong. No, you just said it too fast, man. Sorry, you sorry, know, sorry, I was sorry. Un, I, what I heard is no fulfillment. I'm born in this country and English ain't my first language. Right? <laughs> 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 Mom but is yeah, like, no, my, yeah, um, no, I had no fulfillment. So obviously, I had the, the pornography, mm. these parties, just mm. trying to look for. Um, you were just looking for it for for something. Yeah, for something. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Until yeah. I stumbled on church. Mm. But the thing is, my past church life, I really had bad experiences, so I really never had high um, expectations. And mm. I was in and out, in and out, in and out. Yeah, I remember when you came in, you were like, now, now you're, actually since last year, mm. I could see a difference between your shift, you know, because mm. before you used to come regularly, mm. but you were just there. Yeah, I was You know there. what I mean? I was there. And I'm not, I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that you change because you're now in ministry and whatnot. Mm. I'm saying you change in a sense of the way you carry yourself. Yeah, you know, you yeah. you can see like even. Um, I was talking to to you about even like your brother on the phone this morning. You know, mm. like you guys showed a lot of massive change. You know, yeah. um, not Eddie, his other brother. You know, like you guys showed a lot of massive changes. Mm. You know, and like you know like the consistency that you've shown. And the uh, um, the the consistency is shown by the way that you you are now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can't tell. Okay, this guy is growing in the word. You know, even some of your jokes are biblical based now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's how. That's the best way to know whether someone is reading the Bible or not. Mm -hmm. If they can make jokes while taking out <laughs> biblical lines. Yeah, you know what I mean? Know, come on. So <laughs> you know, like you know, you you can tell there's, there's been a shift there. You know. So yeah. so so what insp what what inspired that shift? Because obviously you've been coming in your teens, mm. you're 23 now, 22? 23. 23 now, you know what I mean? Bro, we guessed it right the first time, bro. Come on. Come on. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so you're 23 now, yeah, yeah. but you've been coming for the last three, maybe four years. Yeah. What, what made that shift last year that made you say, you know what, I'm going to start taking these things a little bit seriously? What, what, was the, um, what was the shift? The whole concept of Christianity. What do you mean by that? Not even concept. Concept is a weird word to use. The truth of Christianity. Again, what do you mean by that, bro? So, why do Christians exist? Um, no, that's that's a question I've never been. I've never asked before. I've never heard been uh, asked before. Go sometimes, on, man. sometimes I look at things at a different angle. Mm, yeah, yeah. So, man, that's, um. That's a good thing. Why the Christians I'm thinking exist? like, why is there a need for Christians? Like, if those Christians, I said, ask myself, if we take up Christians, mm. what, how would people act? Mm. Like, sorry, not even Christianity. So, if you take off, if you take, like, um, someone that places authority in someone, someone that brings law, um, what's stopping me from becoming a crazy rapist or murderer? Mm. Only prisons. Mm -hmm. And I can't lie, that's not that's not good enough. Mm. We need something that can actually um, hold us down, mm. and actually, um, I don't know what's the word for it. Ah, oh, there's a word for it. Like, without God, this world would be in absolute chaos. Mm -hmm. And it took me a while to realize that, because like, even when you end up from the hood, mm. you see some crazy people. Mm. And and they don't have any fear factor because mm. they're not even scared of prison. Mm. Like, that's true, man. Like, 
I look at some people like, yeah, she did that. Yeah, bro. The right person yeah, at the right thing. time will take your life, bro. It won't be yeah, blink an eye, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, if you did me day, but yo, like, that's so, you can't do that. That's so evil. Mm. Who's gonna stop me? I said, damn, who's gonna stop you? <laughs> Who's gonna stop you? Yeah, man? but too right, bro. For, for, like said, for you to go to prison, you need to get caught, man. You need to be caught, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but it was, it, was things, it was just like little little things like this that was hitting my head, and I was mm. like, raw, like, we actually need a person that could bring balance. Mm into this world like because without it this world would be in absolute chaos and then I started to realise God was that balance God was that person that mm. like regulates things and like other things as well like we us men need to surrender or else we we come out of, out of control we need something um, we need like a form of guidance we need like a um, a father figure we need like a like a leader mm. to lead us in the right way because like obviously I had a father but my father was so hard working that he almost neglected me mm. in a way so I kind of had to learn life through my friends mm. and my friends were bad mm. and that's where I started to spiral out of control like, I never really had my father all he used to tell me is clean up my room mm. clean your room Joe you have, to, you have to be sharp clean your room that was it mm. but it's not, I'm not trying to discredit my father but like he did he did a lot for me but like there were some times where I needed guidance, but I never felt really comfortable talking to him due to the fact that we never built that kind of strong relationship. Mm. So I was I was looking for like a just a bit more guidance, and that guidance came from God. Mm -hmm. Most all the guidance came from God. Most, not, 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 I guess uh, I don't know. I don't want to discredit God, did it? <laughs> but a lot of guidance came from God. Um, so I had surrendering issues as well. It was just, like I said, right, for, for me to figure out, like, God, it was all these little things that I decided affecting me because I was in church, listening to the word, it convicted me, but I used to let go of that conviction and just mm -hmm. carry on in my life, like, I didn't care. Mm -hmm. And then, and then I started to suffer the consequences. I was like, why am I in pain? I've heard the word, I, gen I believe that it's true, mm -hmm. but yet, <clears throat> I still, I still... Neglect it because of my fleshly desires. Mm. And I realized, oh, there's a connection, flesh and spirit. And that's where things said, I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, my, my testimony is so tapped. Is that a way to say? Yeah, no, bro. What, like, what is it, man? Go it was on, like, I was running away so much mm. that it led me closer to God. Amen. You know how crazy that is. That's man. how it usually goes, man. I ran away so much, and God was like, "Turn around, come back." Yeah, that's how it usually I goes. Like, I feel like Jonah, bro. Dude, I feel like I was talking about a damn well, bro. <laughs> Dude, damn, man. That's how it usually goes, like, man. So, so many people just, run. Just things, like, little things that just like hitting me. I like, like, boom, I like, boom, to, boom, boom. I like to call it running, mm. running away, mm. uh, away was. Running away was. Run away. No, not run away. Run away was. Oh, okay. Like you're running towards, but you're yeah, thinking you're running oh. away. You know what I mean? So you're running away was. was. like, I, I, my testimony is tight, like. From every time I try to tell a testimony, I just, I just say, I, I just waffle, man, because, like, mm. there's so many little things that, that touch me. Mm. Like what I'm doing is wrong, like how pornography is. Nah, but, it, my but life. It, 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 that makes sense because it'd be crazy that one thing change your whole life yeah, obviously jesus, right, no, jesus no. is the only const, constant one thing that changed yeah, your whole 100%. life but even with me man there was so many different things you know coming to church mm. seeing how the brothers in church behave oh, compared yeah. to how the brothers um where when i was serving how they were behaving you know the the um, aspirations that uh, the brothers had in our church compared to the aspirations that my friend had you know, I mean, the brothers in church wanted to draw closer to God, mm -hmm. wanted to be better human beings. Mm -hmm. My worthy friends just wanted to have a better house and better money. Mm -hmm. You can always have a better house. You can always have a better, uh, more money, but you can never be a better, you can not always be a better human being. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And if you play this game wrong, you can not always get always closer to God because there comes a time when God says, bruv, Bun you in it, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I've, I'm, I've been patient. I've done this. I've done that. And it's so difficult for some people to hear. Like, oh, God would never say, 
burn you, bro. But trust yeah, me, day, bruv. What like day. for some people who are yeah. out here playing games, yeah, yeah, including yeah. myself, you know what I mean? Because obviously I'm not perfect mm. and I'm not judging anyone. I'm not saying, oh, you guys better repent, otherwise God will like take it and no. I'm just saying, beware, because God said uh, my love is patient. Mm. Love is not infinite, bro. It's patient. Mm. You know what I mean? There comes a point in time where as much as I love you, I will love you from afar, man. Mm. You know, because your eye here like ruining you know the 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 plans of the of, you can't ruin the plans of the kingdom but mm. you know what i mean like okay fine i'm gonna pull you on pharaoh's side mm. you know what i mean and i'm gonna bring this brother to moses side kind of kind of thing you know mm. so bro is is i understand exactly what you're trying to say you know so so many the uh, 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 variables mm. that will you know push you to to um to change you know yeah. and for me it's always crazy when christian says oh this happened bro. and then i realized nah, the truth bro. Like i was I say, like brav like, that was the I whole the time lie. this that is one thing that you know I'm what i mean really like I, I i don't i'm not saying i doubt and I don't what doubt. they're saying but i'm just saying this is what it took and obviously god works in mysterious it's ways crazy. i'm not one to say that da, 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 da. Mm. but the one thing but you're better human being than me. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Because for me, it took like a countless amount of things for me to even acknowledge God exists, bro. And you know when I acknowledged God existed? Yeah. 3 a.m. in the morning in Cyprus, I was talking to a friend. We were both uh, on guard. Mm. Yeah. And then he asked me. I wasn't even a Christian, bro. He wasn't even a Christian as well. But he asked me, like, mind you, we're in the army. Mm. Death was always in my mind. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, so he asked me, you know, like, what do you think happens when you die? You know? And I was like, bro, what do you think happens when he dies? And he turns to me, he goes, you become worm food, don't it? And I was like, bro, bro heck, no, heck no, man. no, I ain't no I worm food. I was like, heck no, I ain't no worm food. I was like, heck <laughs> no. I said, surely not. Surely, like, you're not telling me I'm, I'm yeah, leaving yeah. this lit life here yeah. yeah. well i'm like because well, like, i feel like a superhero right now. well i'm a superhero every day mm. you know in order for me to die yeah. you know be and then just become worthful now nah, bro there has to be more than this man, yeah. even at least let me become a tree bro yeah. you know what i mean yeah, bro. <laughs> so yeah man it's, it's crazy bro. Like, like, it's never gonna be one thing so waffle on man. like i said you, you can talk for as long as you can as you, you want you know I, I i'm mean? gonna say key things that that actually like brought me closer to God. Mm. So one death, like you mentioned, mm. where there's heaven and hell, and I realized the need for heaven and hell because some people. That's a massive question. People because overpass. And the yeah. thing is, what humbles us is that we are all sinners, and mm. but only those that believe in Jesus Christ and died on the cross will make heaven their home. Mm. It's like we have an opportunity to be redeemed. All you have to do is just submit. Mm. It's such a simple thing to do, but some people struggle so like so hard. I usually do. say Christianity is one of the easiest, hardest things. Easiest, can do. hardest thing, hardest because thing. Because it's yeah. it's it's so easy, it's hard. Yeah, like because like, we as human beings, I can't like even when 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 the sinners pray and stuff, all of mm. that. I hear it. I'm just like, is it that easy? It is that easy, man. But you know why it's hard. Because we as human beings, yeah, mm. everything we do is action based. 100%. So it's crazy to think that I can just be forgiven mm. by spiritual base. We don't even understand the concept of spirit. Because if I punch you right now, yeah, mm. I can't pray or. Oh, Gerard, forgive me. Mm. I have to show you stuff that will make you forgive me. Like, mm. you know, bruv, I'm sorry, man. You don't understand. Bruv, I'm sorry, bro. You know what I mean? And then I'll be like, oh, you know what? Let me get him a bottle of water to show him I'm sorry. You know what I mean? And, you know, like, if I owe you money, mm. you know, like, if I stole something from you, like, I will give you, like, 10% of, or 20% or top just to show you, mm. how, like, just to show you how apologetic I am. Because mm. if I don't show that, your retaliation will be physical as well. You know, mm. you might hold me up. You might, but with God, He's not saying I don't I don't care about your action, bro. I care about your belief. I care about your mm -hmm. faith. Do you believe that I and it's not do you believe that I will send you to hell? Mm -hmm. That's easy. Yes, God, I believe no, that's easy, bro. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that I will forgive you for you just asking to be forgiven and meaning? Like you just want to be forgiven. It's one of the easiest, hardest things any human being can do. You know what I mean? It's crazy, man. 
not back to Eric. No, another thing as well was my brother Edward. Mm. Edward was like the the modern boy. He was a Project X CEO <laughs> CEO of the Nango production. Like, I can't lie, like if Edward was able to make it, everyone in my family would. Like, mm. Edward was actually like the guinea pig. Mm. <laughs> I can't lie, like for him, to, like you know when you see a, a full transformation of someone's life, mm. it just like, what you were like this yesterday? How are you mm. like nah nah? You haven't been transformed. Who who, who did it? God, mm. God, did do that? It has to be real. Mm. When Edward went in there, joined ministry, started singing praise and worship. Edward, like I know my brother, and Edward does not like um, to sing in like um, attention. Yeah, don't like attention. Like yeah. don't like the. The, the attention in it. Mm. So, um, for him to to be singing praise and worship in front of everybody like that, mm. I'm just like, whoa. Yeah. This God must be real. Mm. And that's a form of humility as well, man, you know, because to not say, oh, I like attention, mm. low key is prideful, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? It takes a lot of humility to say, oh, it's not about me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you know that that's another thing I see in your brother, man. And that's another thing I seen in the Nangois, bro. Mm. Because when all the Nangois came in day one, yeah, right. they all, they were all like, yeah, but we're here. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you guys are still like, yeah, we're here. Right. But the we're here as a team now. You know what I mean? Mm. And you know, like the humility that your family has had yeah. again shows the amount of transformation you guys are like growing mm -hmm. i'm sure you know what i mean i mean let's take jo uh, let's take joseph for example yeah. you know what i mean when joseph first came in i never even met the guy you know what i mean the guy was calling me trash on the drum man i didn't even know who he was you know what i mean but you can't tell the man was humble now because we mm -hmm. were playing football yeah and mind you i never heard joseph ever apologize ever in his life mm -hmm. yeah we were playing football last year yeah i'm like joseph Stop hanging back, go up here. Yeah. Joseph Osef came back in. Shut up, man. You can't play football. Da, 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 da. I never heard your brother apologize here. Yeah. When the game ended, the guy came to, oh, Brolin, I'm sorry. They're like, my bad, bro. I said, you know what? That shows growth, right? That's growth right there, yeah, man. Stronger. You know what I mean? Me the guy, you know what I mean? The guy is growing, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? Back to every <laughs> he was not healthy. Oh, yeah. Like, and that's why I have so much love for your family, like, man. Like, you know what I mean? That's uh, why I have so. Family. I know I'm talking over you, yeah. No, no, speak, speak, speak. That's why I have so much love for your family, man. You know what I mean? Because mm. you guys, number one, when you guys were came in with all your pride, yeah. <laughs> at least you were funny. You know what I mean? That's why I love the hugging around with our you. Pride was but disgusting. now you guys are humble and funny, man. Like you cannot hate on that, bro. Mm. Humility and hilarious. Oh my days, man! Like, I'm like pride, God, I pride like. <sighs> Even if you're a professional basketball player, you did not care. <laughs> you were going to win whether you like it or not. Oh, man. And I like the competitive edge as well. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, when I do stuff, when we do stuff in church, sometimes, you know, everybody's trying to be too humble, bruv. Sometimes I just want to, like, I want to yeah, battle with someone. Similar, yeah. You know what I mean? And when I see the non come coming, I'm like, yeah, bro. You that, know what I mean? Right. Because there's only two of, there's only two of us here, <laughs> me and my sister. <laughs> but we're going to represent, bro. You know what I mean? Because sometimes people are too nice, man. You, you, want, you yeah. want to battle, you know what I mean? You want, you want the victory to mean something, you know what I'm saying? 100%. And then I can look at you for the next five months, like, yeah, bro. <laughs> you know I love the, 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 the disgust in the face when they leave, bro. Oh, like, man. Man, remember when we were playing basketball yeah. and I took out Joseph, oh, man. I took out Sarah, yeah. I took out Joshua, uh, yeah. Joshua, and then you came in, bruv. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. And then the fact that you won, you mean all of them won, bruv. <laughs> Forget <laughs> Put it down for the family. Forget no, what I just like, done, yeah. The fact that you won, yeah, means all of them won. But that was vexed, bro. Uh, losing in my day. Man, I was vexed, bro. I don't lose. Oh. Yeah. I, yeah, man. That's very good for my family. Mm. I, I actually love my family so much. Yeah, man. Like, you should. Bro. I actually you you know love your is, family, man. I thank God for the errors as well. Mm. Just for us to grow. And actually develop what we have now mm. is so amazing. Even now we still have like problems here and there, but like mm. now we've got good, it's more it's easier, bro. Easier to work through them. Bro. Amen. 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 And we actually have like reference points as well, man. Mm. 
That's good, man. I mean, I mean, it's good to have a family that cares a lot about, you know, about God. Yeah. You know, it's one thing if one or two cares about God, yeah. but the whole entire family yeah. does, man. It's very powerful. But it took it took some know. time. It started it started with Ed. Mm. Obviously, parents were there, but yeah. it started with Ed for like the youth, innit? Mm. Ed, I'm there in and out. I feel like Sarah kind of got it more. Mm. Usually then, the girls get it quicker, yeah. man. But like even me, I got saved before Christelle mm. in 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 a general sense because Fab invited me to church first. Okay. And then I bought Christelle. Mm. But then Christelle got it earlier than me. You know okay. what I mean? Like girls girls submit to God a little bit quicker than men do, you know what I mean? And that's and the thing. And it's all with the mm. egos and the pride, man. That's you know, the we thing. don't wanna give the you know, that was the control. main reason why I didn't um, join ministry for, for so long. It's surrendering. Mm. Like, there's levels to surrendering. They're surrendering, and then there's a time where you need to sow, mm. give back. I surrendered, but I also collected the free food. <laughs> like, the free food's mm. purpose is for those that are on the hinges, that need help. No. Yeah, but no. No, not not entirely, but I'm saying like obviously it's more for them, and it. No. Why you doing no? No. No, but I'm saying like like for me like the level that I'm at mm. is like I've been eating free food for too long. Now it's time for me. Like, what do you mean? God, God has been feeding me. Feeding do you mean me spiritually? Well. Spiritually. Oh, okay. I thought you actually. No, 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 no. After church, man. No, no, no. Okay. So, so. No, not not not. Not not tea club. That's why. That's why like, I was like, I was, no, bro. I was eating. I was eating good. I was eating good for so long, innit? Yeah. Okay. And like the thing is, like, I wanted to like, I wanted to surrender a long time ago because mm. I finally realized, okay, here's the truth. Mm. Look to the two. But I still had worldly things that was holding me back. Like, mm. oh, if I if I surrender, when where um is gonna take most of my time, meaning that I can't make enough money to make out the hood. Mm. Oh. I'm going to have to prosper in ministry. Best believe, when I joined ministry, I actually made more money. I I don't know how it works. Mm. I have less time, but I'm making more money, which is strange. Because I died. That's my sister, Jamie. Ah, oh, man like Jack. You also open the door. Yeah. Oh, yo, Jack, what do you want, man? Oh, my gosh, are you filming? Yeah. I'm going to go get a chocolate. I know where it is, man. No. Bye, Jenny. Yeah. My luck, Jack. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> nah. But yeah, um, of course, I'm saying. Uh, surrender and. Uh, no, no. Um, yeah, I forgot so, what you were saying as well. Um, so, surrender and. Um, that was one of the main reasons why I never really. And I realized surrendering and actually joining the ministry actually helps with your work as well. Man. Mm, it does. Because it actually it it inspires, does. inspires you to help others and inspires mm. you to be a role model for others as well and it forces you to learn yeah you know what i mean because as you as you are in ministry you're literally one of the faces, the faces of yeah. the church and you know? so if anything especially you being an usher yeah. you're the first you're one of the first people, people see, see yeah. when they walk in church you know you're more likely to make a a, a um, an acquaintance oh, an impression okay. with someone you know what I mean? So when they have a question, mm. most likely yeah. they might come to you, come to you know me, what I'm yeah. saying? And they'll be like, oh, Gerard, yeah. I've been reading especially, especially, Acts 27, yeah. 38. I don't understand what it means. And you're like, uh, you know, it's not, it's not good luck. Mm. You know what I mean? The thing is, uh, even like with the new people, that they've been asking a couple of questions. And that's something I have to deal with, isn't it? So I have to be scriptured up. Mm. I need to read my Bible more as well, man. So I need to put my knowledge in my noggin. Um, but yeah, man, like, joining the ministry was one of the best things that happened to me as well. It gave me, like, a... It gave me lots of responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Lots of responsibilities that I needed for my work. You like the responsibilities? You um, welcome the responsibilities? I'm you desire more responsibilities? I, I'm humble. That's not what I asked. I'm man. humble. That's, that's, what, what that's my asked. answer, bro. That's my answer. I'm humble, innit? Hey. I'm humble right now, innit? If God wants me to do more, I'll do more, innit? Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> I, I catch you out, bro. That ain't catching John, that. Uh, yeah. Nah, but I mean, if you yeah. want more responsibilities, you know, yeah, this is the like place to like, say let it, Let me man. pray, bro. You know what I mean? Let me pray, bro. Yeah, our pastor, <laughs> he said he wants more responsibilities. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but, um... <laughs> hey. Nah, yeah, 
yeah. Um, obviously, I'm still I'm still new to this, isn't it? Mm. It has. I think it's just been a year. It's been a year. Is like even less than that's probably like well, nine or eleven months. Yeah, now. like I mean, I got baptized what 2022 mm. uh, summer. Joined ministry last year. Autumn. Autumn. Yeah. It's only been a few yeah, months. Like probably saying. six months, man. That's what I'm saying. Man, so but I, you're doing well, bro. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to get as much people as I can into the kingdom, man. Mm. Yeah, that was literally what was going to be the next question, man. What's the, what's the, what's the, we talked about before, we talked about now, mm. you know, where, where do you see yourself, mm. you know, as a young buck young in the, in a, in a Christendom, <laughs> you know, where do you, where do you see yourself in the kingdom in the next five, ten years, man? Right. Pastoring, right. evangelizing, right. Um, pioneering, right. You know what I mean? Bro. Healing people. Bro. What do you see yourself? Bro? <laughs> yeah, like I said. What do you see yourself, bro? <sighs> Me right now, I'm just going with the flow, man. Mm. I'm about to go with the flow. Well, you got no aspirations. The thing is, right now, I'm I'm humble. Okay, he has no aspiration. Thing, I, do, I do, no, no ambition, no, man. I, I've got many you know ambitions. I mean? actually. Nah, so what is it? They talk to us, man. Like, for me, like one of my dreams is always to build like a sports center. Like, mm. like that's good. Like that's I can good. dedicate it to the church. Like mm. I can I always want to make a sports center in it mm. where people can come and just play, mm. have a good time. Like instead of being in the world drinking, going out to parties, like. Youth yeah. clubs was a big help for me as well, I especially know. for where like, I grew up. Was it was that with you when we met your youth club uh, coach? It was. I was with you. Remember yeah, when we went yeah, to yeah, um, yeah, yeah. what was it? Twicky was yeah, it Twicky? Twicky, 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 Twicky yeah, yeah, Richmond. Saint Margaret's. Saint Margaret's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and we saw yeah. your yeah man. Let's believe that played a huge role in my life mm. because when we we're younger, like I said, parents was like obviously they fed me to the toilet, but they weren't really there. I used to go to a club called Monday Club. It was like a church club where they just um, train the youth. Mm. Obviously, pray, Bible scripture, and just have fun mm. and play. Best believe that was like the best time of my life. Mm. It was actually the best time of my life. Like, I felt so free. I felt like there was no stress when I was in that moment. Just kids coming. There was no discrimination. Like everyone's there to have a good time. Mm. The girls did like arts and crafts on the side. The man them just played football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can't lie, it was bliss for me, man. I'm a simple guy, man. Mm. Give me something to do, and I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm a simple brother, man. Yeah. Like, I'm not too too much, man. Mm. Mm. But yeah, like I would love to recreate something like that, but like at a bigger scale. Wedding. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my God's going to All right, all right, all right. We're, gonna, we're gonna hold it there. Are you gonna get this up? We're gonna hold it there. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This has been conversation with the first one of 2024. Next one would be dams, mm -hmm. and then hopefully we can have dice and dams in the cup. Yeah, you know, oh, talking nice. about I could be your holy mother. Don't test me. You know, oh, how we gonna go to ride a chase of Ricky? You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I've done and dusted. Why is your fist there? Why is your fist there? Well, that's a good song, man. That's a good song. That's a good song. I was in the world, dude. You crazy, wanted to bro. run around and chase the Ricky, bro. I try, bro. I, try, I, try, I try to make out the hoodie now. I can't lie. <laughs> nah, bro. But, anyways, guys, this has been Conversation with. Stay blessed. Uh, we'll see you guys hopefully next week or in two weeks' time. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.